So I've been hard at work farming Swarm Disaster, and by that I mean I've just been addicted to it. Halfway a progress update, but we did finally get to a really interesting point after all the farming. So here we have the uh, Trail of the Path Strider. We're actually nearly at the bottom here. I will be honest, I have zero idea how to unlock these question marks still. I didn't want to Google it because I just wanted to figure it out on my own. So once you complete enough of these objectives, you will get enough of these points to unlock all 13 of these, which is what we've done. Once that happens, you'll You'll get a quest called Swarm Disaster The End, which is what we're going to do. I don't know what this quest is. I wanted to wait until I'm here and we can do it together, give some thoughts on it. Maybe it's literally nothing. Maybe you just have to click a box and nothing happens and then maybe we get the uh, propagation path unlocked. But we can just hit start exploring here. There is no difficulty selector this time. It's just Swarm Disaster The End. Difficulty 1 it says, but the recommended team level is still 79. But yeah, as you can see, we still have the propagation path locked. It says unlocks after completing adventure mission Swarm Disaster The End, which is what we're doing right now. So we're just going to keep going on our normal hunt path. We are starting on plane 1, The End. That's different. <laughs> so far, nothing seems super out of the ordinary. I mean, some swarm dudes here. We did have a bit of story there, but for brevity, I am going to edit that out. Especially with Don Ill, I always try and hit these mini games. I don't always succeed with them. It really depends. Even with Don Ill, they are very hard and like very time tight. The trotter catch is usually pretty easy, but this one in particular, I have struggled with. We missed one. There's a lot of places for them to run behind and hide. Very sad. Barrel breaker challenge. Those are actually pots. This one I usually do succeed with, actually. This is one of the easier ones, I think. Also, it's a lot easier on PC than it is on mobile, which is what I was mostly doing these on. Yeah, eight seconds to spare at the end. And man, do I really love Auspicious Star, this hunt card. We just got past the first phase. Uh, nothing of note yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Very symmetrical. We have a ton of mini games, ton of treasures, ton of swarm stuff. And then like four transaction domains for some reason. I think I'm gonna make my way up and then do these three mini games. If you're perfect, you get a curio, cosmic fragments, and a blessing. So definitely like the highest value if you're confident you can do it. I'm pretty sure we get at least one three-star blessing here when we fight, but this is a pretty hard boss actually. Triple abundance, but indeed two three-stars, which is nice. Damn, this is hard. Another trotter just appeared way up there, so. I don't think there's any chance I can actually get to that one. Might just ignore it, keep going for the mini games. This one is very hard. I can do it like maybe 80% of the time now, but I failed like my first three times at least. It's quite tight, mainly because of these back here over this, oh God, on that blue path. Like those are so easy to miss. Okay, we did it. I guess I've gotten better at it. Also, obviously, uh, Don Ill is almost a cheat for these. I don't see how it's even possible without this character. I assume there have to be other characters that are also good for these mini games, but like, I don't know. Another Trotter catch. This one's also pretty annoying. Yeah, but some you have to. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> we got 4,400. I think in the first one, though, I only let one escape and we didn't get enough points. So that's kind of weird. Some are just really hard, I guess. You can't let a single one escape. Coming up to our second main boss here, we have Kafka. Jesus Christ, even his burst is still doing like 400k. I think the difficulty of this quest is more on difficulty 3, which is weird because you have to be spamming difficulty 4 to even get to this point. So it's weird that they would make it easier than 4. Ooh, let's grab fortune glue. What is the last phase going to look like? I hope it's not like big because we are already in planar disarray. Nope, but it is full of swarm stuff. We will absolutely do a run with the path of propagation. And I just realized the curio we got to guarantee a three star is gonna probably be just a propagation. So, I mean, there is a one star here. Yeah, but my fortune glue is still destroyed. All right, well, that's kind of sad, I guess. Oh, wait, do we get a trotter? Nice. Actually, we're only going to have 180 crit damage, so trotter-wise, this one didn't go that well. I usually have at least 210, but it's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. But we can enhance. We ended up with 33 blessings, which is about normal for this, I think. Definitely got to get the stacking hunt. Propagation, we have nine. Okay, there we go. Damn. I didn't realize we got so many propagation this time, but uh, yeah, definitely going to get the stacking propagation. All right, I'm done enhancing. I mean, we had a ton of cosmic fragments, so we could enhance most of our stuff. I actually find the final boss easier than the second boss most of the time. Maybe it's because it always has imaginary weakness. Clara's still doing pretty well, even with like not many elation cards. Actually, I'm... Well, no. Okay, that's still decent damage. Oh, okay, but that was it. I think it was around difficulty three level. But there we got the first time clear for the end, I suppose. We have a little conversation with Herda. New path unlocked, propagation, let's go. Wait, what? You can now use the path of propagation in simulated universe as well? No way, dude. What? You can use it in the normal... 
Dude, that's insane. What? There's the propagation path in normal sim universe. I did not, I wasn't expecting that. What? Something is happening now. Okay, it's different now. We have a different background and we have some actual stats here. We are going to try a propagation run now. But yeah, there it is. I uh, definitely need to check out what the uh, special buff is, the path buffs. Turn two random domains into combat swarm and a current swarm domains, okay? All allies' basic attack damage is increased by 20%. Okay, path resonance, preservation, and destruction. Interesting. The path resonance, when you get the three propagation cards, sounds absolutely insane though by far the best in my opinion you choose a target to immediately take action you recover two skill points and then you're affected by metamorphosis which for every skill point consumed or recovered the attack can ignore 10 percent of the enemy targets all type resistance so pretty much specifically like a dawn ill path but i guess he is like the best damage dealer now but i guess since it also resonates with preservation i should take gepard instead of uh Clara? Kinda hurts to do that, but it'd probably make the most sense. I still have no idea about those empty blocks though. Oh, there it is, Nihility Path. So you do need to go for a specific path, it seems. That's really annoying. I don't like Nihility Path. That's all the dot stuff, right? I still haven't even made my Kafka good. I guess we can just spam the first plane and leave. We would get at least two blank domains there. Maybe there are dice effects. Oh, here we can turn all reward domains into blank domains. Okay, so we can just kind of farm that out real quick. Okay, yeah, that actually won't be too hard. Maybe we'll just crank that out real quick because honestly, I think it's the only one I'm working on right now anyway. So going through a propagation would be literally pointless because we couldn't even like work on any of these 12 times though that's kind of annoying i mean i guess you don't need to take kafka it's just going to be a not very good time when the main buff is that our dot damage is increased let's see what we can do we have a ton of occurrence i guess i would like the occurrence domains turned into blink domains yeah i'm gonna cheat and just turn all the occurrence ones into blinks so there we go we have a ton of blank ones now i guess we're just gonna oh well there's something here apparently uh let's lose a blessing there's just a remembrance one i don't care about so yeah nearly every domain is now a uh, blink okay but apparently it's not nothing there's still like an enemy here. So we're about to go into the boss. Uh, we have cleared six, which is pretty good. So I'm assuming even if we die, that's not going to revert back to zero, I hope. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head into the boss. I gotta use the bathroom. Gonna see if they can auto it. I'm back. I mean, it's taking a while, but uh, they're looking pretty healthy. Well, may as well just try and get all 12, I guess, on this run. I guess we should try and make all combat domains. There's a nice, like, arc of four here. This was a normal combat one and not a bug one, so I guess it does mess with them in some way. Or I guess it could totally randomize them. You know, I kind of wish I liked Nihility because that seems pretty fun. I mean, I guess I could have just read what the blank domains are doing, probably, but I don't really care that much. I'm just trying to do the objective. Okay, so this is the 12th one. Oh, yeah, we even have the check mark already, so... I guess that means we can just leave. I am going to risk it and just uh, say end and finalize. Uh, we didn't get the pop-up that we usually get, but I think it worked. Yep, says completed. We got the rewards there. There's only one more hidden one. Of course, I want to try and get to that, but uh, this one obtained a total of a thousand cosmic fragments through means other than battles. So definitely no certain path requirement, which means we're going to be trying the propagation path now while trying to complete this as well. Our main goal, of course, is just to hit as many swarm domains as we can. Of course, that does somewhat conflict with the fact we need to try and get a bunch of cosmic fragments in other means. And that would mostly be with like mini games, reward paths. I assume this will be our first 150. That's not from a battle there. These jars probably count as well. Yep, look at that. We're already at 176. There are a few curios that can give us a ton of cosmic fragments as well. We need to try and get the propagation disassociated ID die to make more swarm domains. I don't think I need this. This is definitely the battle focused die. The same die again, the same die again then we're gonna cheat. So we can just like select this one and then I guess all of them will become swarm. Let's see. Oh, dude, look at that. Okay, let's go. Now we would need to get the golden one. We would get so many propagation blessings. Oh, <gasps> we did, we did, let's go. Okay, we are getting propagation cards though for every propagation on the map, but are we really skipping all domains? Yep, oh well. We're probably not gonna get the cosmic fragment stuff this time. We got the ceiling wax of propagation. So we use the uh, propagation path. Now we can just like select a uh, Don. Now he has metamorphosis and we can like max out an attack, I, gu I guess here. Oh my God, for being this early on, 425K, Jesus. That does do something. But okay, that was a very interesting uh, phase one there. Pretty quick as well. Uh, let's see what Kyrios uh, Herta has to offer here. I mean, we we, we we have to spin the stuff first, but uh, this might count. 10 fragments for each ally whose HP is at max. 
We'll try that. We're at 176 still, so everyone's at full HP, I think. The question is if that counts, because it did technically come from a battle. Wait, what? Why was my fortune glue destroyed? There wasn't a single three-star card there. <laughs> man oh it does count i thought it would count but uh was just making sure hmm should i obtain 150 cosmic fragments or the entire team loses hp equal to 50 percent of their current hp usually i'd go for the latter but since we are on a mission here we're just gonna grab the 150 cosmic fragments i don't know what would have happened had i chose the second one i mean i would have to assume you get something in return the same exact one again i am so curious i'm gonna do it oh Okay. <laughs> it actually just took my HP and did nothing else. I think that's really going to be the key to this uh, sort of challenge thing is, you know, getting good curios. I do like this one, though, actually. You can obtain better rewards later. O okay. You better not be, uh, better not be lying to me. Where are them better rewards? Obtain two random three-star blessings or one three-star blessing. That doesn't say random though. I guess it means we could choose. I think I'd rather choose one than two random to be honest because lots of the three-stars are pretty situational and it depends on your team. 571 single target. That propagation path is cracked. 687? Dude, what? Oh my lord, but um, we are apparently pretty squishy. Jesus Christ. We could get through it though. Moving on to the final plane, I'm curious to see uh, how our uh, cosmic fragments are doing. We're at 612. I assume this carries over to multiple runs. I really hope so, because we're kind of screwed otherwise. Cosmic fragments will be increased by 100, but blessing will no longer be uh, obtained after combat. We are already in the last phase, so I think we're going to try getting this and see how it works. As long as it means all cosmic fragments, like including those 40 we get per battle, that would still help. If we're actually gonna get 200 fragments from the chest at the end instead of 100, then that also helps. So I am pretty curious. 250, okay. Maybe we got 125 before. 862, not falling for it again. Although I'm wondering, do we get 300? We do. I think that's it then. Man, that carrier is actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, we completed this one. The final one down here, what do we gotta do? Oh, <laughs> use three different paths to complete Simulate Universe, Swarm Disaster at difficulty five or higher. Oh, that was unfortunate. I'm surprised we only have 12 propagation and 22 blessings total. That might be because we skipped pretty much the entire first plane, I think, but uh, okay, cool. And this is the only actually useful one for the boss. So that's nice. So we 1000% need uh, Lotcha and uh, Gepard to start this off and I guess may as well do that at all also. Okay, let's see if we can do this with one HP. Uh, well, we still have a shield, but just to be on the safe side, I guess. Let's see what this does. Yes, one a little over a million there, very nice. But yeah, we basically only have a ton of basic attack damage boosts. 1.3, I think that's a new personal best for me. Jesus! 1.8, okay, that must have been something with the spores also, maybe, I don't know, but damn. Nearly broke two million there. What the hell? Three different paths on difficulty five. I mean, propagation seems insane. Uh, hunt has always worked well for me. Elation has always worked well in normal simulated universe. I assume it would work fine here as well. So those are the three I'd probably try. These question marks are really annoying me though. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, light up all the hidden trails of Path Strider. So this is what we would need to do. Basically, you have to use every path to complete difficulty five for all these rewards here. They're not significant rewards, so there's no pressure to do so. But what I'm kind of assuming right now is that either you have to do the 24 out of 24 first, and then maybe you can start working on the uh, golden hidden ones down here, the seven, or you just have to do every path on difficulty five and you get one of those unlocks per path. I really don't see what else it could be, but basically we are done with difficulty four. Whatever buffs we have here, those are the buffs we're going to uh, have. I feel like this video is already going to be pretty long without going through difficulty five, so I'm going to save that for a future video probably very soon because I really do like Storm Disaster and I'm actually quite looking forward to Difficulty 5. But yeah, the uh, biggest shock today was definitely that the Path of Propagation 
can be used in normal simulated universe as well now once you unlock it in Swarm Disaster. That's so cool. I'm actually wondering how that would work though, because how the propagation path works there is kind of weird. I think we'll just go with the same team more or less. I guess in this case, since there aren't really swarm domains, they would just appear alongside the normal blessings, I would guess. Okay, it's like the swarm disaster gods or whatever. Oh, look at that. We do have a propagation here. Okay, cool. Definitely need to focus on trying to get some of those because the path resonance is just so nice. Yeah, nothing to report. It's basically just a normal path in normal simulated universe with, of course, an emphasis on basic attacks, which is cool. But yeah, that's where I'm going to stop it for today. Looking forward to getting my ass kicked in torturous difficulty. Make sure to tell me what you think, though, in the comments down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.